Hello, I'm biohacker health coach Joe Baines. The question is, what are the top tips for a healthier diet? And this is what I figured out, so I'm a biohacker. Number one is that the biggest problem people have is not eating consciously. So I used to be one of those. So eat consciously, choose your food that you're gonna put in your mouth or drink in a conscious way. Look at it and go, should I be eating this? Should I not be eating this? If you can do that, it will solve most of your problems. Uh, so become fussy about what you, about your food. Have some standards around what you will and will not allow into your body. And one of the ways to do that is to consciously choose your own diet. Because if you don't consciously choose a diet for yourself, one is automatically chosen for you. It's called the default diet. And that is a standard American diet. It's called the SAD diet. And that acronym fits it really well because it will make you very sad because it would destroy your body. Um, the standard American diet, which is what most people are on, which is the default diet in the Western world, um, basically is not designed for the human body. It's less than 100 years old and it will decimate your body and your brain, give you brain fog, depression, anxiety, metabolic disorders, these being diabetes and all that kind of stuff. So stay away from the standard American diet. diet. Choose the diet consciously. So for example, I've chosen a diet for myself, which is keto. But you can choose keto, you can choose carnivore, paleo, vegetarian, pescatarian, or any of these, they're all good diets. Um, understand them and, and start to learn to follow them. That'll give you a standard. And the second one is to remove junk, processed, fast foods, takeaways, all that kind of stuff. Uh, restaurant food, takeaway foods, all of that. Just get rid of them out of your life. That is part of the standard American diet, and you do not want to be on that diet. So learn to say no to these and mean it, right? So for years, I used to say no to them. But my friends and my family and my colleagues would be able to go, go on, have one, live a little, you know, that kind of stuff. I'd be like, oh, well, it's just one, right? It's a slippery road. Once you have one, then you're more likely to have a second one, third one. And yeah, it's a slippery wow. slope. Number three, this is very important, is learn to cook. I am shocked. Like I, I, I've been cooking all my life. And so for me, cooking is like breathing. You know, like I see some ingredients, I see a pan, you know, I've got a meal. <laughs> so, uh, so learn to cook, really important. Once you learn to cook, it's like learning to drive. It becomes second nature. You don't even, I don't even think about, um, when people ask me for like an, for a recipe and how to make something, and I'm like, how do you not know that? Just pick the ingredients up and make it, you know, like it's so easy. And that only comes with practice. So if you start learning to cook, if you start, initially you'll follow recipes. But after a while, you'll just throw the recipes away and just do it in, from intuition. Uh, so yeah, learn to cook. Uh, so and can... only use the best quality ingredients that you can afford that you have access to. Because when you cook your own food, it's many times healthier than eating out and it's much cheaper. So it's better for your body and your brain. Win-win everywhere, right? Next is eat. Number four is eat as much natural foods as possible. So make sure that your food, so if it's meat, make sure it's grass-fed. Uh, if it's eggs, make sure they're not battery-caged eggs. Um, so, for example, corn-fed chicken, I was quite shocked. Uh, I was in Waitrose, and they had corn-fed chicken, and it was more expensive than normal chicken. And corn, corn is bad for you. It's also bad for the chicken. Chickens aren't meant to eat corn. So if you stuff chickens with corn and then eat the chicken, that chicken is going to have a lot of uh, inflammation, a lot of disease in it. And uh, you yeah, eat as natural as possible. So, uh, so in order of in health important is um, organ meats, uh, normal meat, fish, eggs, cruciferous vegetables and then only a small amount of fruits do you know you want to keep the, the like berries or something that's it 
and only like a dozen or half a dozen. That's it. That's all you need in a day. I eat about five to ten um, blackberries every day. Uh, just pick them up from outside. Brilliant. So number five, the quality of your food is extremely important. If the animal or whatever you're eating, it comes from a good source, then you will get that good goodness as well. If it comes from a bad source, if it's an animal, for example, and the animal has been diseased and been fed antibiotics and all kinds of stuff and unnatural foods like grains or whatever, then you're going to get those diseases as well. So you want to eat the highest quality food you can get your hands on that you're able to afford. And the last one is eliminate foods you are allergic to, so especially gluten. So eliminate what you are allergic to, but also gluten. Everybody, everybody is allergic to gluten. 